Alright guys, um, today I'm going to talk to you about my 1911. Um, it is a Rock Island. From Rock Island Normandy. It's a 45 caliber. Um, I'm going to kind of go over what I've done to this. I'm going to go over a uh, field strip a reassembly. Um, the, the modifications that I've made to this firearm and why uh, why I really love this firearm. Um, so before we get started, we'll do a safety check. I see everybody doing that on YouTube, so we'll do a safety check. Here's the magazine. Nothing in the magazine, as you can see. We'll write the slide back, lock it back. As you can see, there's nothing in the chamber. Completely empty. So, it's going to be quite interesting to try to field strip this right this minute because uh, somehow I have misplaced my uh, bushing tool, my barrel bushing tool, and this barrel bushing that's on here is not factory, it is aftermarket, it is um, something I put on here to tighten up the, the, uh, the slack in the barrel a little bit so that it you know, slides a little bit easier. And, doesn't have any wobble, a little better accuracy, it's just a little tighter um, fit. So with that being said, it does make it kind of difficult to get this bushing out of here without the barrel bushing tool, but we're going to do it anyways. So to get started, we're going to cock it, we're going to put it on safety, we're going to push down. On the recoil spring and we're going to turn the bushing clockwise. Clockwise if you're looking straight at it. We'll release the recoil spring and at that time the slide can move back and forth simply without all of that pressure. So there are two notches in the slide of a 1911. As you can see, there's two notches there. There's a small notch here. There's a bigger notch right there. That small notch is where you want to place your slide catch. So you're gonna put it there. On the other side, you're gonna push here that slide catch out, lay it to the side, and now with that out, slide it off. That is it, We're taking the slide off. Very simple. From there, take your recoil spring out. Now, the fit, like I said, on this barrel bushing is quite tight. So I actually have to use the barrel to tap it out. Is my barrel bushing. Um, when I bought this it did not fit so there is some file marks on here where I actually had to turn it down just to, just barely to get it to fit right. My barrel. As you can see has also been turned on only with sandpaper to make it smooth, to get as smooth of a action out of it as I can. The hood has actually been polished, sanded. The slide, nothing else to really take apart whenever you're just doing a field strip. Now you'll notice on this slide, it's quite shiny underneath here and along here. That's because all of this has been polished so that it slides easier back and forth. You don't get that metal to metal rub so hard. So it's really smooth. It's been polished up to 3000 grit. What that does is whenever it slides here, this has also been polished. So the slide moves really smoothly back and forth. This 
is it. As far as field stripping <clears throat> a 1911, that's it. Then you do your cleanup. So you're gonna clean your barrel. Use your 45 caliber brass brush. Clean it out real good, clean the carbon out of it. Once you've cleaned the carbon out of it, go back with the cleaner. Um, I did another video where I've been, tried out some um, tactical honey, which the tactical honey seemed to work pretty well. Uh, I did clean this gun with that tactical honey. I did not video it. So until I actually go to the range and fire this weapon again, it is completely clean and to do to it so it wouldn't do me any good to clean it with the tactical honey right now on video um, once I once I fire a little bit I'll I'll, uh, I'll clean it on video with the tactical honey and you can see so some of my modifications this firearm came com absolutely completely basic I did buy it pre-owned you have your basic wood grips smooth nothing fancy uh, it came with just a basic hammer, basic trigger. Since then, I have actually replaced the hammer with this skeletonized, the trigger, skeletonized, adjustable, the uh, mainspring, the disconnector, uh, the safety spring, all of that is now um, Wilson Combat. So all of that has been replaced. The safety came with just one safety on the side. I replaced it with this ambidextrous safety, which has the longer, so that you can use it on either side. Whether I loan it to a friend who's left-handed or I'm shooting it who I'm right, which I'm right-handed. Just makes it easier to take it on and off safety. Um, the feed ramp, which I don't know how well you will be able to see it in this video, but the feed ramp here is actually also polished to 3000 grit. Um, if you slide your finger on that, it actually feels like it has soap on it. It is so slick. Um, the barrel is original. The recoil spring is original. Plunger is original. The barrel bushing, of course, we already talked about. That's aftermarket. Um, Takedown pin, all of that's original. Everything in the slide is completely original. The only difference is the fact that I did some polishing. Um, this gun is now extremely smooth, and I will show you that here in a minute. Um, actually, if you put this on without the spring, you can see how smooth it is. It slides back and forth very smoothly. Um, oh, these grips, this rubber finger grip right here. It's nothing but an insert that flaps underneath your wood grips and then gives you a little bit more control of the weapon. And it feels great. It fits my hand so well and it feels so good. Um, yep, that's about it as far as my modifications go. That's all I've modified on this. I don't plan on ever modifying anything else on it. I do have another barrel bushing that also has a um, uh, compensator on the end of it. Recoil compensator, whatever you want to call it. It, to me, doesn't really help with this firearm at all. 45 is already powerful. It's not a whole lot you're going to do to, to take down the recoil of it, and the compensator doesn't really make any difference at all. So now we'll put it back together. All right, reassembly is so is simple. It's basically just the reverse of what you did to take it apart. Slide the barrel in. It'll catch in place. Put your barrel bushing in. You're going to notice there's a notch or a little bump right there. Okay, that goes down inside here. 
so you're going to place this in so this sits all the way down once it's all the way down you'll turn your bushing all the way to the side okay so now you'll put in your recoil spring your recoil spring has a little curve in it right there that curve sits on the barrel and I apologize for this horrible video and guys I'm trying to do this with the camera pointing straight down and it is really backwards and weird put your spring in slide it back a little bit lift up that little loop right there till you can just see the entire thing why that's important is because when you're looking through your receiver there's that hole right there uh, right there alright you're gonna be looking through that hole as you slide the receiver onto the slide now I like to do this upside down it's much easier that way and as you can see you see the edge of that ring and that's why you need to be able to see that entire hole you take your takedown pin drop your takedown pin in there push it all the way through you'll feel a little click right there pull your slide back until you get to that small notch again once you get to that small notch you're going to push your takedown pin all the way in Once you get to that small notch, you're going to push your tape down pin all the way in, slide, slide back forward, put your safety back on. Plunger, back on the top here, push it all the way down, roll your bushing over till it's on the top of the plunger, and then continue to roll until your plunger pops back out. And now, your 1911 is back together. And as you can see, this gun is extremely smooth. Two fingers, and you can easily wrap this side. The spring is still quite stiff, quite strong, strong enough for a 45. But you don't have the grinding of the guide rails. Alright, guys. That's all I really have. Magazine in the bottom. This is a flush magazine. They also make them where they kind of bump down a little bit. This one will fall right out. That is the disassemble field strip, whatever, of my 1911. The parts that I have modified on this gun, I do plan on making some new grips. Um, I'm actually going to build my own out of some curly maple and uh, maybe put a little design or something in them. I haven't really decided yet. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Thank you for watching. Um, I can do a full, complete disassembly. Everything, every single little piece can be taken out of this gun and I am more than happy to make a video showing you guys how to do all of this if you would like that just leave a comment down in there and um, let me know that you want to see a complete full disassembly there are other videos on uh, YouTube that shows a full disassembly that is true if you want to see me do it see if maybe I do it a little different than somebody else perfectly fine I have no problem with that just leave me a comment and I'll get a video put together for you guys and we'll do a complete full disassembly and reassembly on this Thank you for watching. Have a great day.